Hey guys, we picked up this door a while back um, during the coronavirus stay at home order. <laughs> we were naughty <laughs> and we drove it over. Curbside it was curbside. They left it out on by the fence and we just grabbed it and left. Um, but in the picture on uh, Facebook Marketplace, there was a picture of this side, which in the photo didn't look didn't look too bad. Um, can you? There we go. But you can kind of see where it's puckered here. And we just really felt like um, this might not be a good piece to sell because I'm going to show you the other side. It's a disaster. So I told Honey, since this side isn't too bad, let's go ahead and let's zhuzh it up and make something cool out of it and I will use it as a prop for when I'm staging photos. So, came up with a little plan and we're going to show you how it's going to how it's going to come to fruition. <laughs> so, are you using so why why would you use the Gorilla Glue wood glue over the construction adhesive? Uh, it's just it's easier to work with. Oh. I, in my opinion, it's not as it's not as thick. Okay, so, but it'll it'll work. Yeah, it'll, just... it'll grab. And I'm going to give it just a little bit of reinforcement too. So, I'm just going to put just a little bit. I'm going to go just right in here, right below this molding. And I'm just going to kind of squeeze this in a little bit. Make sure she's all lined up. Oh. And then the, uh, I'm using two inch um, finishing nails. That way I can just pop in at each location here just to secure this thing. And that's pretty much all we'll need right there because the glue is going to help take care of the rest. And voila. voila. So he's going to put one on each of the inside corners, and then we'll be back. There's all four of our corbels. I love it already. It's going to look way better when it's all, you know, everything's painted to match. But we're not done. We have more. Yes, there is more. So he's going to put this shelf at the top Please. of... Putting the corbels to the outer edges. Yep, all the way to the outer edge. And this was just this was just raw wood, just like how you're seeing right here. Um, was this scrap or was this stuff you bought? Uh, it was actually stuff that we bought. Okay. Um, but uh, baby doll over here was nice enough to let me pick up a bandsaw, which makes cutting these corbels out like a dream. <laughs> Yeah, he was like, honey, I think the only tool I need still is the bandsaw. <laughs> so I've got it marked right where that shelf's going to go, so I can just line this corbel, the top of this corbel up here, um, to my line here. Line the corbel on top of the corbel? Line the corbel up right to the line. <laughs> and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some of this, my favorite substance on the planet, besides Folgers. Besides Folgers. <laughs> And I'm going to get this thing all lined up. I'm going to be using my same two inch finishing nails. To just do a little pop in here. Okay, we'll be back to show you the whole shelf. Okay, putting on the top piece. Changed out the nails because I didn't want them to be quite as long. And again, you're gonna have to go crazy. Baby doll was nice enough to put a little glue on that for me. <laughs> So, 
structurally. That's what we got going on. Now is the creative part. So I'm going to have Honey take this door over to my area. And then I'm going to start doing some fun paint stuff on it. Look at look at the look on his face when I said I was going to get him to take the door over. Well, I gotta, what I'm going to do first, and this is a really cool little feature, I think. Um, this old school door handle with the church key. Mm -hmm. And of course it is double sided, so I'm going to take the other side off. We can utilize that for something different. And that way it'll sit flush up against the wall. Yeah. Actually, I can bring my paints over here and then it could just stay here and dry. Would that be okay? Well, well what I'd like to do, if you don't mind, is, is let's go ahead and let this Gorilla Glue set up for at least an hour. Okay. And then uh, at that point I can move it. Okie dokie. All right. I'll be back. Here's the door. I have, I just like grabbed a bunch of random crazy blues and greens and I'm going to follow a Jamie and Zeb video that they did where they did aged wood and I talked to, I talked to Honey, we may be putting this in our bedroom. So, uh oh, this is gloppy which is perfect for what we're going to do. <laughs> Where did the uh oh come in? At first I was like uh oh and then I was like oh no this would be good. So here we go. We're just going to like slather these colors all over the place. that this is thick. And that's going to distress that through much better with it gloppy and thick. That just means this is really old. So, I don't know if you need to watch me do all of this. I think you kind of get the idea from what you've seen just with this color kind of where we're going and I'll be back to show you after I glop on all these awesome delicious DIY colors here's the craziness of the colors and I want to emphasize and I learned this from the rays <laughs> that drips on this type of paint um, style are good. So we got drips, we got globs, we've got those little, look at this glob, ooh, awesome. And that way, once this is sprayed white, um, those globs, when we sand it, are going to come through really really well if like okay so oh, let me find a spot <laughs> I globbed it really good okay so right here we got some globs and then we got some more that's just flat painted and the globs are going to be what comes through better this is that real thick stuff I was putting on first and because it's so thick that'll also come through really good but is that the salt wash honey no this is not salt wash uh, this is too big a project for that sample size that I got. That's why we're not doing salt wash on this. Well, maybe it's time for an expenditure. <laughs> I really liked how the other you like that. You like the salt wash? Yeah. Um, I have those corbels that we picked up a couple weeks ago. I'm going to salt wash those for fun to do a video. So anyway, um, this is going to have to dry overnight because of the globs it's going to take a lot longer to dry and then I'm going to try to get this handsome gentleman to spray this white for me tomorrow yes you Mr. Prescott he ran over there. you Alan. and your little dog too that reminds, <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me of that commercial where that lady's talking to Bigfoot she says, uh, oh okay Bigfoot he goes, what did you call, you call me? me my name's Daryl <laughs> <laughs> 
and that's the joke for the day. All right, people, we'll be back. Um, hopefully do a video of the spraying. I might not be here. I have to go to the bank tomorrow. But um, but the distressing is going to be the fun part. And all my paint is dry. It's just a, actually um, a few hours later. Two and a half, maybe. And I've decided that my paint guy, my spray painter guy, is probably not going to be available as soon as I need him. He's got other projects he's working on. So, I'm on my own with a brush and a can of White Swan. So, I'm not going to make you watch the whole thing. But let's see, where can you, can you see? All right. I'm just going to go to town on this. I'm hoping to not cover up that knob. I need to get this project done before my quarantine is over. And I have um, my shop, my grooming shop, if you guys know me, opens back up on Friday. Today is Tuesday. Um, tomorrow... I have stuff planned. I have other projects I'm trying to finish before um, I go back to work. Because once I go back to work, that's it. I may never, never be able to paint again. I have so many appointments scheduled. Um, I'm booked for more than a month at the grooming salon. And uh, so, so yeah. I mean, I'll have weekends off, but it just feels like I'll never have time to paint again. <laughs> so, anyway, I'm just going to go brush paint this whole piece. And this will definitely have to dry overnight. So, um, in the morning, after I get back from the bank, I will let you see me sand it. Here it is, all painted white. Looks pretty cool. Even though you can see those ripples in the wood. Gosh, I don't mind that at all. So, I don't know, it's probably five o'clock. Um, I also did this ladder in the same uh, style. Uh, I didn't use all the exact same colors, but the same style, and then I painted it white. Um, so I'll be doing that piece, too. That's a really heavy-duty ladder, so whoever buys that, um, you know, it's not your typical farmhouse ladder. It's really heavy-duty. So, yeah. Tomorrow, we sand. I'm sanding. I don't know where my tripod went to, so I'm going to... Watch your ears because it's going to be loud. I'm just going to sand a small area and then I'm going to turn it off and turn the camera off because basically you don't need to watch me sand this whole piece. So get ready. <laughs> that colors coming back through I'm gonna go ahead and do the whole piece and I'll be back he showed you lots of videos on how he got the corbels and how he did the door the painting of the door we decided at the last minute to add this bench seat and these um, corbel legs no not corbels banister legs we got for free. There was four of them, and he cut those down. So really the only, and because the door was free, the only investment we had was in this wood 
this wood and the corbels and the light, and the light yes so we estimate a total of forty dollars in this piece and we've marked it for 195 so there you go hope you we got something out of that sorry we didn't have a chance to video making the seat but more doors more doors to come huh Absolutely. <laughs> so thanks for watching guys give us a thumbs up hit that subscribe button notification bell to get notified every time we upload a video